How you doing guys? This video is going to be in the Riello burner series. I'm going to be going over how to check the wiring and um, sequence uh, operation of the wiring. Um, you need a good multimeter that reads mega ohms, 400 mega ohms or 400k ohms. It's going to be able to read that. So a cheap meter is not going to do some of the tests. It'll do most but not all. So if you're going to be working on Riello burners, you need to have yourself a good meter. And um, yeah, so that's the deal there. Um, let me know what you guys think about the series. Uh, this is my third one with the Riello. Um, on the Beckett, I did, you know, I think seven or eight already. But as I go longer into the series, I'm going to get more into detail on stuff. I got some requests to do some testing on vacuum on pumps and stuff like that I might do something with that I'm gonna do a bunch with controls um, different type of controls that come on the oil burners and uh, you know may not bring controls I haven't done anything on that but I'm planning on doing some of that stuff and maybe some water feeders and expansion tank information stuff like that for hydronic heating circulators and there's a bunch I could do so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the series and I appreciate the feedback. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm gonna go over how to test the wiring on the uh, Riello. Now, on the Riello, if you're gonna test it, you gotta test a, you gotta get a good test that does uh, mega ohms. 400 mega ohms is the scale you need. So this meter here would do it. Some of the some of the uh, POP meters will do it. This one here is only 200 mega ohms. You can do most of the tests with this, but if you're going to test between one and two, it won't come out right. So you got to get a, a good meter if you're going to be testing a yellow. It's got to be four, read 400 mega ohms. So this is the one I use. This one seems to work pretty good. Um, I use this for different things, millivolts and some other stuff, but let me go over it with you, um, how I test it. But on this, you got to pull the control box off. The control box comes off. There's a wiring diagram right on the bottom of the control box here. You can see the little CAD cell there on the end. Okay. You got the wiring in here, you got one, two, or three. Three is the neutral coming in. Okay. Five is the power coming in. Then you got six, seven, and eight. And nine and ten over here. Alright. So to run the burner. Without the control box on, you're going to jump out 5 and 6, which would be the power coming in is 5, and you're just jumping it out to the motor. And that's going to just run the motor um, for testing purposes. So 5 and 6. And I got my power cord plugged in there. So if I hit this switch here, the motor is going to run. I'm not going to fire up because I don't have the I don't have anything hooked up. I don't have the control box hooked up. That's just for testing purposes. All right. So five and six will run the motor. Then we're going to do the first test. We're going to check neutral and load right in here, and check for voltage coming in. And we should between be between 102. And 132 volts. So I'm gonna put that on the volt setting. That's volts DC, uh, volts AC. I'm sorry. That's right there, volts AC. So we'll turn it on and we'll check it. We're going to check between 3 and 7 for volts. 
okay. That's forty seven point five. Forty seven point five is good between three and seven. Okay, then we got the cap, which is three and nine, and then we're gonna check between one and two and two and eight. We'll do the ohms next. So we shut that off. We're gonna do ohms. We should disconnect the power. We're gonna be checking the ohms. Let me disconnect that. Probably disconnect this also. All right, then the ohms, mega ohms. See what it says? It got the M mega ohms. So we're on the ohm scale there, right between one and two. 1.4 mega ohms and that brown and the blue is checking this solenoid here okay so we'll do one and two one point three eight k ohms so 1.4, that's close enough. Then we're going to check between 2 and 8. That's the other side of the, uh, there's three lines going in there. To that solenoid. And that's 1.4 ohms. Okay, all we have to do is check the cap. Next. microfarads this one here that little symbol is the microfarads UF you gotta hit that yellow All right. yeah I gotta disconnect that black line Twelve point three. Cap should be twelve point five, so I'm within range between three and nine. Between three and nine. Twelve point three microfarads. So that's good. So that's how you check a yellow. So that between one and two and two and eight, you're checking this solenoid valve right here. That's what you're checking. Okay. Between three and seven, the volts, that's the motor. Okay. And between five and six, that's the motor also. The motor's got two speeds on the motor. You watched my last video when I first started it up. The pressure was probably at about, I don't know, 80, 100 pounds until it ramped up and then it went to 150. That's how you check a yellow. Mm -mm. Yeah, on a CAD cell, I just got the CAD cell there. Okay. And basically, room light is like five, seven ohms. I put it towards the light. The ohms go up. That's how the CAD cell works. Senses the light. Senses the light and keeps the, the relay on. 
So they got that right into the light. And take it off away from the light. Natural light and the room light back into the light. That's all it can, so it works.